Of course. Of course, as soon as I click go live, my phone rings. Hold on. Yeah. I just clicked start. Live, I'm live. He put the wick in and left. Okay. Okay. Live. Okay, we will try this again. Hello, 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 everybody. This is Shalina Color in Book Nook. And uh, <laughs> of course, the phone rings whenever I start a live stream. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's start over again i do have a dog she does bark she barks quite a bit for some stupid reason half the time so um today we are working on diy moon shops star witch i'm not real fond of diy moon shop their drills some are bigger and smaller and their symbols are hard to tell apart from others. They're just hard. Hi, Robert. How are you? I also was asked to show all my diamond painting pens today. So I'm going to do that and show some other supplies and my waxes. So as soon as we get more people in here, I will do that. This is the parchment paper I have used on all diamond painting kits that are for diamond painting and this one doesn't seem to want to cooperate. I'm going to have to throw that one out. Hi, Lisa. How are you? So, we got some snow today, overnight. It didn't snow anymore today. But I want to, um, want to get this lined up. I saw Gwen's outfit for her first birthday. It is adorable, and I hope somebody takes pictures. Okay, before other people show up, I am going to um, I'm just going to diamond paint. We can chat. How's that sound? When more people show up, we will go through my supplies. So, <laughs> you want some snow? Okay, so we're going to work on this section. And somebody left a comment in my video yesterday that AMC and Freeform on Spectrum have the Christmas movies I'm looking for. So guess what? I went on TVGuide.com because I do have a account with them. It's free. You just sign in. And you can set it up with just your favorite channels. So I did that because... That's always done. I did. I had that for Dish Network too. So, okay, I'm looking for number fives. So I went on, while I was in TVGuide.com. Then I put in like um, I went in search for Elf with Will Ferrell. And it actually told me the channels that would have it and what day and time. 
So thank you because I found Elf. Um, I found Christmas with the Cranks and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So I have them written down the days and the times that I will be watching them. So today I decided I still had, I wanted, I watched General Hospital and then I had two hours to kill before coming in here. So I pulled out my DVDs and I watched Garfield's Christmas. I watched Charlie Brown's Christmas. And then I went to go play another DVD and the DVD player wouldn't work again. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. How are you? You're not going to the party, Lisa, really? You don't think they'll have social distancing? Okay, I need to sit on this. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I put it on... So I put it on AMC to kill some time and it was Rudolph's shiny new year. It, it was like the last half hour. So I've watched that and then I started to watch Twas the Night Before Christmas with the mice and then I had to come on here so I didn't finish it. So what did you guys do today? I I didn't even color. I've been working on this. So this is my goal to finish next. And then I have no more diamond painting whips, which is good. Because I want to start the new year fresh with no diamond painting whips. Oh, okay, Lisa. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's tough. It's tough because you're her grandma, too. I know um, when Dylan and Amber do Chris, do birthday parties for the boys, it's always with her side. I haven't celebrated my grandson's birthdays in like three years. I don't think, yeah, I've only done Blake's first Christmas or first birthday and Carson's I haven't done in a few years. They do it with her side. And her mom doesn't like me. So it's hard. Hi, T-Mac. Oh, cool, Lisa. Hi, Robin. How are you today? It's been quiet. I got a text message from Tina Brown, but... When she messaged me, I had just sat down to read, and I'm like, no, I'm not answering it. I'm reading. I didn't read. I only read like an hour because then General Hospital was on. 
So, and I probably won't be in any live streams. Well, it depends. It depends on if my DVD player will work again after I watch Grey's Anatomy. Robert's done 15 colors out of 22 colors, almost done. So you do like one color on the whole canvas and then go back to the second color for the whole canvas. You don't do sections like most of us do. Hi, Sherry. Yes, my day's been good. I stayed in my nice warm flannel pajamas all day because it's so cold out. I went to do the dishes, and the pipes were frozen, so I didn't get to do the dishes. So I just worked on this today. Did an unboxing video, which is already up. Hi, Beach Painter. How are you? Okay, are you, Beach Painter, are you the one that asked to sh see my diamond painting pens, or were you the one that asked to see the snow I got? Because I had one person ask to see snow, and one person asked to see my diamond painting pens. And I thought it was you that asked for one of them. Hi, Sydney. You changed your name. Yeah, I'm used to the frozen pipes. Our pipes for the bathroom and the kitchen run along the... Um, the east wall for outside and they freeze easily so like the bathroom ones we left the water dripping in the sink and the bathtub so it didn't freeze in there but um i could run water in this in the kitchen sink but where the pipe is frozen where it's connected it was leaking out because that's what it does. <laughs> oh, okay, Robert. So you you don't work on one section. You just work one color on the whole thing. I don't get lost. Right. Oh, okay. Beach Painter asked about my pencils. Well, once I get all my coloring book collection um, videos done, then I will be moving on to my pencils. But I know somebody asked to see all my diamond painting pens. Yeah, we got, we were supposed to get between three and five inches of snow, and that's probably what we got. And it hasn't snowed anymore today. I didn't watch the weather today. So... I won't be watching a lot of live streams till the end of the year because I'm watching a lot of uh, the Christmas movies. Yeah, I do square section at a time. Yep. It's 
So Sydney's having dinner. She's having barbecue sandwiches. I'm going to be having a piece of salmon and some mashed cauliflower. And I don't know what else. And then I'm watching Station 19 because it's supposed to go with Grey's Anatomy tonight. And it is the winter finale and they'll be back on probably January. So does anybody else have any DIY moon shop and what is your feelings on them? Because I'm not real fond of this. I'm, ha I'm having a hard time with some of the symbols being too much alike. I know, you multitask all the time. If I did that, I would miss something. If I'm listening to a book, I certainly can't listen to somebody else talking because then I wouldn't take in what was being said on the book. That's why I don't like it when people are messaging me when I'm listening to a book because if they're talking, I can't hear the book. So I usually ignore people when I'm listening to a book. When I used to read before the Kindle came along, I would read during commercial breaks. When I, I would watch TV and then read during the commercials. Which was good because my TV would be on from the time I got up in the morning until I went to bed. I was a couch potato. Well, I guess you still consider me a couch potato, but now I'm crafting. I've always got some kind of project going. And I can't usually just sit and watch TV because I'll fall asleep. So I'm either folding laundry or doing a craft. Hi, Michelle. How are you? What? DIY moon shop? Oh, yeah, because it's too expensive to ship to you. Yep. Well, that's good, Robert. hope that they can help you. So we'll wait a few more minutes and then I will pull out my diamond painting um, pens. A couple of them, I can't remember where I got them. Well, at least one of them, I can't remember where I got it. I know it's not from Etsy because I looked on Etsy under all my orders and it's not there. So that's the only thing I know is that I didn't order it from Etsy. <laughs> so today I... Um, I ordered another Chuck Pinson from Dreamer Designs. His on Tia's live stream last night, I won a $10 gift certificate to Dreamer Designs. And I wanted another Chuck Pinson, and I had some money left over that was given to me as a gift. So, 
that's what I did. But off the off hand, I can't remember which one I ordered. I'd have to look. <laughs> Hi Elaine, how are you? Watch TV. I'm working on my. Do I have tips for diamond painting? Um, take your time. If you're going to show them on a channel, make sure that they are legal images. You don't want too small. You don't want anything less than a 30 by 40 because it won't have detail in it. You do not need to buy expensive diamond paint and pens. You don't need the other wax. The waxes, I think the waxes work fine in these that come in the kits. See, Robin just asked me which one. Hold on. I got to look. I ordered Seaside Dreams. Hi, Stray Chick. How are you? Okay, now I got to see if I need the next color. So, yeah, take your time. Some diamond paintings work better with a light pad. Some don't. This one is definitely one of those. Do not use a light pad. Because the symbols on here are the white ones. Some of, well, quite a few of them are hard to tell what they are. They give you the nine that looks like an upside down six. And they give you a lowercase g. And they look way too much alike. So I don't think that these companies like have someone do up a canvas and give them their idea of if it works or not. Because I would have said don't use the 9 and a lowercase g because it doesn't work. It's too close to each other. Beach Painters working on Psalm 8 from DAC. Yeah, I know some people do show any diamond paintings, but I also know that some that have gotten um, yelled at for showing, they've been, YouTube said something to them. So you have to be careful. Oh, is that one you're working on right now, Robin? Cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm on the small G. I have colors mixed. How'd I get colors mixed? Ugh. Oh. Okay, let me see what other color that is. Wonder if it's the nine. Jeepers creepers. Well, that's what it looks like I did. I must have had them both out because I was messing up. Yep. So. Let's go through this. We guys fix my mistake. I don't have any of the G's mixed in with the nines, but I have the nines mixed in with the G's. <laughs> Yep. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't like these two symbols being on the same canvas. And why is this not wanting to pick them up? Come on. Gah. I love these tweezers. I usually don't have such an issue. It's probably because they don't like these drills. Oh, crap. This will be quicker, maybe. Well, I thought it would be. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. So, Robin says, if I see a symbol that's not clear, let's shut the light pad off. Oh, see, I still can't turn it back on. When you start to know your diamond paintings, you will know if you grab the wrong color drills. Yep, well, I guess that I'm stupid then. There's a lady that has over 500, and it looks like the majority of hers are unlicensed, but she keeps on uploading. Really? See, I knew one that she got um, copyrighted. So she warned all the rest of us to be very careful. She had a whole video up. On how to be careful because she got and I think that the um, artist also said something YouTube is screwing up the space bar. What space bar? What do you mean? Oi. Come on, I need to fix these. Ah, oh, I'm getting frustrated. I usually can pick up drills with my uh, tweezers. Well, that's how I felt when you said that, Robin. I felt stupid. <laughs> huh? I whittle? Oh, you'll tell me? Uh, now, I'm, now I understand what you mean by the space bar, Robin. It's not letting you use it between words. Going, what is she talking about? Uh, 
So yeah, I didn't accomplish anything today. I mean, I did get my morning video up and I did get up um, the unboxing video. But as far as chores around the house, nope, didn't happen. Go in there. <laughs> Hi, Cindy Lee. How are you? Oh, Michelle was shoveling. Yeah, that's why I can't shovel. I, it Within three minutes, I would be in so much pain, I wouldn't be able to move. I do not shovel. And my husband has a really bad back. He threw it out a long time ago. So, um, you know, we used to rely on the boys to shovel for us, but they don't live here anymore. So, yeah, a few years ago, he went and bought the snowblower. We used to have neighbors that would help plow the driveway, and then they stopped. I think the one got mad because Scott kept trying to pay him and he wouldn't take money. So then Scott gave him a gift card for gas at a gas station. And then the other neighbor, I don't he um I don't know why he stopped. Cuz we always try to pay them something, you know, let us know what you want. So Scott's always tried to give them, you know, what the running rate is around here for plowing someone's driveway. Either that, I wonder if the one guy stopped plowing because he put, um, <laughs> he put a small hole in the front of my car where the plastic is under the grill. And we, I didn't know he did it. Um, I happened to go grocery shopping one day and I'm walking back to my car and I'm like, somebody hit my car. There's a dent and a hole in the plastic. Okay, I think I got all that color. Well, I got it out of this part. Now I, do you think I can find my white tray? No. Oh, maybe there's one down here. Aha. <laughs> I will get this straightened out. I am diamond painting. Hi, Rebecca. I am diamond painting a DIY moon shop. Not too thrilled with it. Not too thrilled with it. Have you done a DIY moon shop, Rebecca? And I got two colors mixed together. Only in one of the colors. The other color was fine, so I'm able to know which one's which. But yeah, I'm not too fond of this canvas. Oh, sorry, Michelle, what? I did, I read that you hurt your back because you were shoveling. <laughs> oh, okay, you had two colors mixed. You knew which ones they were and you just left them. Well, that's fine. Um, at least the one symbol, I didn't mix both of them all in one. I didn't mix them does that make sense? The ones in this one weren't mixed. They were only mi mixed up in this one. So that's why I know what's what. So I'm just, I'm just gonna take care of it. <laughs> 
I'll need to take a break in a minute and then I'll show you my diamond painting pens. Yeah, Rebecca, it was expensive. But I wanted to try their diamond painting kits and for what you pay, I don't think they're worth it at all. So I do have another one because I always buy two. When I buy kits, I try to buy two. And I'm not looking forward to working on the other one. So I think that between shipping and the price of their canvases that they're expensive. But lesson learned. <laughs> Sherry says, I shoveled a little, it was easy, just light snow. Well, yeah, even when it's light snow, it still hurts my back, just bending over. So, I don't shovel. Plus what it does to my knees. Come on. Stop sticking. <laughs> okay. Let's look at my diamond painting mm -hmm. pens. Um, the canvas is sticky. I don't really have an issue with the stickiness of the canvas. It's the symbols and the drills. They don't have a somatic on the sides of the canvas. Yeah, I don't care for the artist's work either, Rebecca. I just bought two that I liked. So you don't get a somatic on the canvas. You get a piece of the canvas like this. And even the symbols on this are hard to read. So I ended up making a copy of this on my sticker paper. I put it through, you know, my printer on sticker paper to put on my... And I can't read them on my sticker paper because they're blurry. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. So this picture is not on here they don't have the name printed on here. What they give you is a sticker. So they put a sticker on here that tells you what the name of the canvas is, and then they have a sticker with my name on it. Now, I don't need a sticker with my name on it, but you can't print on the canvas the somatic, and you can't print that it's called Star Witch. I don't understand why. Yeah, Scott shovels. He lasts longer than I do. But so I know somebody wanted to see my diamond painting pens. I said I would do it today. I don't know if they're in here. And did I just say hi to Rose? I saw Rose. Did I say hi, Rose? Okay, she she's here but can only listen. Okay, so the two pens I keep in here all the time. This is my, um, this is the one for my Christmas in here. This is from Bistro Blanks. They have a Facebook channel, a Facebook group, I should say. And her canvas, I don't want to touch this. Where's my... Hold on, I need a release. I need to cover this up. The one that was on here ripped, so I'm putting on a fresh piece. Okay, I don't want to get my sleeve on the glue. So, yeah, Bistro Blanks. It's very pretty. This is acrylic. She puts things inside of hers. So I got the tree. 
This is from Enablers Outpost. She's also on Facebook. It's her and her husband. They also have an Etsy shop. And this is my Christmas one that I asked for from Patriotic Team, which is Stephanie. And I have a Texas single placer on it. Love it. And a three placer. But I asked for a Christmas one, so she sent me pictures of her blinks, and I picked this one. I absolutely... You're welcome, Robin. I wouldn't order from them. I don't think you would like them. I think they're too expensive. So, yeah, this is Stephanie's Patriotic Team. Love it. I've been using this all month in the family room. Um, rest of my pens. This one I got off of Etsy for Halloween, and at the end of the month, it cracked. I don't know if you can see it. This is a clay pen, and it cracked all the way around. So that was my Halloween one. I won a Halloween one from Crashly, but it got lost in the mail. Okay, I have this one. Hmm. I can't remember. Who did I get this one from? This might be the one I don't remember. And this is the one I use in November, and it has an everlasting tip on it. I bought some everlasting tips. I bought four. I was going to buy more, but I'm going to order more of the Texas tips instead because they're from the states and you get them quicker and they seem cheaper. Yeah, I can't remember where I got this. I love it, though. Um, I have these two clay pens. Where did I get them? I have three. Um, what's her name? Something Denise. Not by Denise or something like that it's called. So, yeah, this got butterflies. And this one has hearts. And then ladybugs. Oh, yeah, I could have done that, Rebecca. I'll do that on my next one. Because I want to use that. Then I have... This one is from Jim's Handmade Shop. This also has an everlasting tip on it. I love... This is my favorite pen company. And my favorite are his mesh pens. They're mesh acrylic pens. I absolutely love his acrylic pens. This one Catherine bought me. And I'll probably I'll probably put on a Texas tip on this. And I believe she bought this from Jim's Handmade Shop. Um, this is another one, Jim's Handmade Shop, with the mesh in it. And this has an everlasting tip on it. And I know that because it's silver, where you the other ones are gold that you got. Yes, it does. I call that one my frozen. Where is it? I do. I call it frozen because it reminds me of the movie Frozen. So that's what I do call this one. And it's got like glitter in it. It's really pretty. And I have 
This one is from Diamond Art Club. Because I wanted a red, white, and blue something for St. Patrick or for July 4th. And it does have a little bit of purple. But yeah, I ordered that one from Diamond Art Club. And this one, this one was from Catherine. Maybe I bought the frozen one. I think I bought the frozen one. This is the one Catherine bought me. She might have bought me the frozen one too, but I know this is the one that Catherine bought me. Is that it? That's it for diamond painting pens. I only want one more. I want a really pretty green one for March. So I like to change them out every month. Robin says the one she's using is from Jim's Handmade Shop. Yep. I also have two grinders. I hate this one. This is the first one that I bought off Etsy. Um, Stitcherista showed this on, on one of her first videos when she bought her first grinder. I don't like this one. I put them in here. It doesn't really take the drills apart that are stuck. So I ended up going into um, my 3D designs that I, and this is my tray I got from my 3D designs. And I got this one. Absolutely love this one. It takes them apart the first time you twist it. Sometimes the drills are still stuck together. So I wanted a grinder, but yeah, I don't like this orange one and I don't remember where I got it off. I got it off Etsy. I don't remember who I got it from, but I don't like it, but I love this one. And then I have all kinds of wax. So this month's wax I'm using is patty wax and it's pear and cedar. This is the first patty wax I ever got and Catherine bought this for me. So that's what I'm using this month. Then in October, I have Pumpkin Crunch Cake from Patty Wax. I have Cinnamon Bun from Patty Wax. I have Milk Chocolate, which I use in February. Yes, I have OCD. <laughs> I have Blueberry Muffin. And I do have a, I do have a paper that lists... It has the months and then a column for wax and the diamond painting pen so I know which one I'm using each month. That's the OCD in me. I've always been like that with my cross stitching. I have like a hundred or so needle minders and stuff and I have like 30 pairs of embroidery scissors and a lot of them are gingers. So I, yeah, I have a chart. <laughs> This is Beechwood Vetiver. I have cinnamon spiced apples. And Snuggle Bunny. Which is for April. For Easter. Sits there. And then I have... I have some of that, not your, not your mother's mud or whatever. I can't remember how to say it. I have Tinsel Town, which smells good. I have Warm Apple Cinnamon, Dave's Lemon Drops, and Baking Pecan Brownies. And I haven't really used hers very much. So I'm still getting used to hers. And I just started buying the Wee Wax. So this one is Frosted Peppermint, which I'm using next month for January. 
with my frozen diamond painting pen. And I have, it's fall, you all. And if she makes these again, I'm stocking up on it because, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And I like the tin, so when I use up the wax that's in it, I plan on, because I hate scraping the patty wax, I plan on cutting it and putting it in here so that I can just push the pen in. So that's what I want to do with those. And she sent me um, a sample of Juniper Breeze. And the other one I'm using, oh, gingerbread. And then I have gingerbread coming tomorrow for me. And I have another, I think, a peppermint coming tomorrow for Amber for Christmas. So that is everything. And did my live chat freeze? Are you guys still there? Because nobody has said anything since Beach Painter. Let me see if I can go in. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought maybe something happened. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not moving. Nobody's saying anything. It must be broken. <laughs> so that's all of my gadgets. I only have the one nice tray. I didn't feel that I needed more than one because I absolutely love this. I love this tray. So, do I want more and more colors? Um, if I had the money, I would. But as of right now, no. Because I could switch them out every month, too. So, yeah. I know, um, Rebecca, how many trays do you have? Because I know some, you said something about you get the diamond painting tray of the month. And is that a subscription or do you just go in and order whatever the monthly color is? I didn't know if it's like a subscription. You subscribe to them and they just, they charge you every month and send you what it is or if you just order it. If Rebecca's still here, come on. But yeah, I did. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I needed a whole bunch of trays. But I may change my mind and want one to change each month. It would be fun to do that. So I may do that next year because I have, I only want one more pen. So I won't need to buy more pens. <laughs> I, I know I have some of the pink tweezers. I wonder if they would work better on these drills. I always use these. wonder if it would work better. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's all an investment. Yep. And it's not like they don't get used. They all get used. So, what 
what is everybody working on? I need the color tomorrow. I want to work on my... I think that's what I'm going to do this weekend is color and watch movies. I'm not going to be in too many live streams. So I want to watch Christmas movies. If I can get that DVD player working again. I watched Garfield's Christmas DVD and I watched Charlie Brown and then Dylan said, well, maybe it's the DVD. And I said, it better not because it's one of my good DVDs. It's, um, they have the Christmas collections. It has Rudolph and, um, Frosty and, you know, there's like four DVDs per set. So, and I said, I don't think, and I don't think it's the DVD because the door to the DVD player wasn't opening up all the way. So I don't think it was just, I don't think it was cooperating. And Dylan did give me a Blu-ray player, which will play DVDs. It's just not hooked up. So I'm going to have to have him hook that up for me. Cheetos. Lisa says, I'm having a special pen made for the new year. I got three Doctor Who diamond paints to do. So the pen is going to have a TARDIS. So I don't watch Doctor Who, so I don't know what that is. That never seemed, that show never seemed to appeal to me. Oh, but I did change my mind on something. I decided I am going to walk, watch Walker with Jared Padecki in it. I changed my mind. I wasn't going to start watching any new shows, but it's him. So, yeah. Hi, Danielle. Okay. Yeah, you just missed. I just showed all my diamond painting pens, the wax I have. And now I'm just fixing the mistake I made, mixing two colors together. And it's not going very well. <laughs> if they're... If the drills are facing up, I can pick them up with my pen. I'm almost done fixing this. Oh, okay, Lisa. I know, I saw the trailer for it, too. And it looks like his wife actually plays his um, deceased wife in the show. But I'm like, oh, and it's on Thursdays again. Like, so is Supernatural, and, and it's hard because Grey's Anatomy is on Thursdays. And so Station 19, but I don't, I only watch Station 19 when it says that it's a crossover, which tonight is a crossover. So I'm going to be watching Station 19 tonight. But yeah, I'm like, I should just watch Walker. So I am. So now Anson, what's his name? The one that played Dean. I'm always forgetting how to say his name. It 
if he has a show coming out, I'll watch it. I know um, Jared wanted him to be in Walker with him because they have a good rapport together. But that would just be weird. I think it would be weird because you're used to them being a certain way for 15 years together. Yeah, okay, Jensen, Ackles. I'm going Ackles, Jensen, and I'm going, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, because I liked Dean. I think he's hot. Jared's not really my type. He's cute. He's just not my type. Okay, I'm almost done here. Then I can go back to working on this. But yeah, I'm tr I've been trying not to watch new TV shows. Because I get hooked on the characters and then I don't want to miss any episodes because I'll miss something. You know, shows like what's on HGTV... That's all fine and dandy because they're not, it's different. You can miss out. Okay, I see, t is there two in here? How'd I miss them? No, those are just tiny little nubs. There's one there. Oh, Jensen Ackles is going to do a show on Amazon Prime, really? Because when I look him up on IMDb, it doesn't show him being on any new show. Because, like, if you look up on, on IMDb.com... Come on. It'll tell you if they have movies or shows coming up in the future. And it didn't have anything listed for him. But I'll watch it. I have Amazon Prime. At least with Amazon Prime... You can watch it anytime. It's not, you know, it's not on a set date and time. Because I don't have a DVD player anymore. I mean, I can go in, like Grey's Anatomy, I can go in and watch it tomorrow on abc.com. Okay. Now, let's go back and get working on this. Because I don't want any whips for diamond painting starting the new year. This is the last diamond painting whip I have. Oh, okay, Lisa. I'll have to check it out. Okay, we're back on to looking for G. <laughs> And I need a sip. Where's my tea? Okay, guys, hold on a second. I fixed me a cup of tea, and it's not in here. I need to go get it. I'll be right back. was on the kitchen table. I forgot I set it there because I fixed it right before going live and I had to let the dog out so she wouldn't bug me. And my tea is now cold. <laughs> yeah, 
Yep. That's okay. Okay, I'm looking for G's. And I can't tell. That one's a G. I think this is why I had the G's and the 9's out at the same time. So that when I was moving along, I could tell. And that looks like an R. I, I don't know. I do not know. Is that a 9 or a G? That was a 9. That's the G. And they have them right next to each other. So I'm supposed to have a guessing game. I'm not amused. I'm not amused. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Oh my God, Robin, you're a crazy girl. I don't mind having two whips going at the same time, but I don't want, I just figured with the new year starting, I want to start over with a clean slate for diamond painting. So when this one is done, I will not be starting another one this month. So I won't be diamond painting anymore this month, but I will kit up. Like next Thursday, I won't have, I won't be live streaming. Will I? No. So there's no live stream next Thursday. Because it's the Christmas premieres and they start Thursday morning. So if you want to watch anything, you can go into the Christmas premieres. My premiere is Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do plan on being in the, at the premiere so I can chat with everybody. So yeah, the premiere start Christmas Eve morning and they go through till the next morning, the day after Christmas. I'm just making sure I got all the G's and I didn't. If the G is right next to the 9, then I can tell what's a G and a 9. But if they are not right next to each other, I cannot tell. I know Robin doesn't um, celebrate Christmas and I know there's some. there's a few other people that don't. I think it's silver, but it's still fun going into the premieres. Bye, Robert. Thank you for coming in. You have a good night. Okay, I found two more G's. Is that a G? That's G. Ugh. Oh. 
So you guys should have seen me last night when I finished that Chuck Pinson. Oh my gosh, I was grinning from ear to ear all night long. Scott got home a little after 11 p.m. last night and I had to go running in with it and he loves it. So this weekend it is getting hung up. Because I need help hanging it. We'll use a staple gun and then after the holidays, once there's less people in the stores, I will go to Walmart and look for a frame. Because it's staying up all winter. Because it's not a Christmas picture, it's a winter picture. Okay, now, I just saw another five that I missed. I hate that. I used to wait till the very end and go back, but now if I see it, I'll put it in. I think that was the only one I saw that I had missed. Oh, see, I'm missing another G. Missing another G. And out of all the storage containers that I own for diamond painting, the Harbor Freight are my absolute favorite. They hold a lot of drills. They're easy to pour out. They're easy to pour back in. You thought I was snoring? Why did you think I was snoring? Why did you think that? I'm not snoring. <laughs> Michelle is eating. Oh, yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oh, found another five. Yeah, I think I'll just put this away because we'll move on to the next one. I also like it, if you don't have a lot of drills in here, you can work right out of this. So, you don't have to pour them in the tray if you don't want to. You can work right out of this. Especially if the wax is really good in the tip. I know some of you can't get the Harbor Freights like Lisa. Oh, you pick you call her. Okay, Cindy Lee. I wasn't sure because sometimes people type in my name and it changes it to Shelly. <laughs> so sorry. You know, autocorrect. What time is it? Quarter after six. I have 45 minutes left. So what do you guys want to talk about? I run out of ideas. I don't have a life. <laughs> I sit here and I craft all the time and watch TV or listen to books. And like I said, I didn't even clean today. It was too cold. I didn't feel like it. My left knee hurt when I woke up this morning. I did start listening to a book. And I'll probably listen to it some more tomorrow. I know I wrote tomorrow I am watching on AMC um, the Polar Express at 6 p.m. And at 8 p.m., Four Christmases is on. And that's the one Scott keeps telling me that I need to watch it. Or he heard that it's really good. 
So whenever I go to look it up, Amazon Prime has it, but they want you to be subscribed to something. Not Amazon Prime, but something else. So I know I think it says AMC and stars. Well, I already have AMC, and I forgot to even check AMC in free form until someone mentioned it in my comments from yesterday, and I'm like, duh. I never checked those two channels for the Christmas movies. And then Saturday, see, I have the Tic Tac containers. I don't like them. Um, I've had too many of them. When you open them, the little tab breaks right off. So, yeah, I'm not real fond of the Tic Tac containers. I do use them, though, when I want to store my extra, my extra drills. Because I'm trying to keep two Tic Tac containers for square drills and two for round drills. Plus, they'll have sparklers. I want one for sparklers. So I will use it for those because I don't use them that often. But when you're using them all the time, yeah, they kept... I've broken a few of them. So Lisa, Harbor Freight won't even ship to you. They only ship within the United States. Oh, I found another five. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. I'll go back and catch it when I'm all done with this section and go back and get the ones I missed. Oh, okay. So they don't ship to you. You bought an extra case, so if the tops break, you have extras. If you're not... Oh, I use them. I just don't use them for um, my kits. I use them to store my extra drills. Because I try to keep extra... I'm trying to keep extras of each color in the round and the square so if I if I run out I will have them because I know companies will send you the replacements but I know I've only run out with I think it was Visu Arts and it took me one to two months for them to get it sent to me and I'm like if I'd have had them I could have finished the painting and still and it would have been done I still would have had them send me more but I would have been able to finish it so I only ran out of one color and I only needed 10 of them and I think they sent me a hundred What do you mean, not even through Amazon? The Harbor Freight Containers, is that what you're... 
mean sherry they you can't get them on Amazon you can only get them through Harbor Freight plus eventually I would like to start figuring out better how to where to put sparklers in my paintings because I do have some Tia is the sparkler queen. <laughs> yeah, Harbor Freight containers, you can't get them through Amazon. You have to buy it through their website. And I just bought six more because I really, really like them. And some kits are so big that I need three containers. Yeah, some kits have a lot of colors. So I need three containers. No, they don't, Beach Painter. Nope. So you'd have to store it by color, by the DMC number and not the symbol. So like 310, whenever I use 310, I don't write the symbol or use the symbol because I'm going to... Um, I try to use, you know... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> if I don't get a schematic sheet or an inventory sheet, then I will write the symbol sometimes and the DMC number on a sticker to put on a container. But if it's a 310, I don't bother putting the symbol. But now that, that's how I used to do it. I don't do that anymore because I have a different system now. Now that I use the Harbor Freight. I know I'm probably not making sense. So what is everybody plans for tonight, the rest of tonight? I will be fixing dinner and then station 19 is on and then Grey's Anatomy. And if I can't get my DVD player to work again tonight, then I will probably listen to my book. I didn't get it. I didn't get much listened to today. So, I have patty wax in this, and this is lasting longer than normal for me. Robin's got Kingdom Hall on Zoom at 7 and then TV after. Are you watching Grey's Anatomy tonight? Station 19 um, has the crossover tonight, so I'm watching that. And it's the winter finale tonight for both of them. So I will watch them. 
I know you probably read this, Robin. I started Chaos, Chaos by Iris Johansson. And it's a standalone. So that was good. I had got it a long time ago. I needed to read it. I'm trying to get a lot of books read off of my physical bookshelf. Although I'll probably keep this. I seem to keep the books that I get from forever. Grand Central Publishing. And I need to get back to the Eve Duncan series. So I'm way behind on that series. But I think... I'm trying to come up with a plan so I'm not constantly watching live streams all the time for next year so I can get some of my books read and I want to get my ratio down on that galley. Robin, is A Million Little Things good? Because I thought about binge-watching that on Netflix or whoever has it because it looks really good, but I didn't want to start any new series. But I could do that, like, in the summertime when the other ones are on hiatus for the summer. I could go in and binge-watch those every night. You know, watch a couple episodes every night. I could start doing that. Till the new Grey's Anatomy comes on. Sometimes Grey's Anatomy doesn't come back on till March. They've done that a few times. I guess we'll find out tonight because it'll tell us at the end when it will be back. Sherry, football, coloring, midnight masquerade. Keep me in your thoughts at Kingdom Hall. Some people I know go to Kingdom Hall. Yeah, I need to color in that masquerade. I have that. So, yeah, my goals next year are to work from my stash. Diamond painting stash. I did buy... I. Now that I did that Sledding to Town by Chuck Pinson, and that's a winter, I think I want to do one for each season by Chuck Pinson to hang up above my love seat in the family room, and then I can switch them out every season. So I will, I did buy that one today. What did I say it was? Um, seaside Dreams. So I'm thinking that will be for summer. I think I'm going to use that for summer. Okay, this is that. That weird symbol, like a sideways B. It's that sideways B, and there's another asterisk that I missed. Do I need this one? I don't know if I need this color. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I do see two that I missed, though. 
But I don't see this one. I don't need it. I don't need this. So yeah, I have goals for next year and I need to get them written down. What I want to do for goals next year for coloring, diamond painting, cross stitching, and reading. Because I'm a list person. <laughs> that is just what I do. And I can do that with Happy Planner. With my Happy Planner, I can put my goals right in that. I, they might have a section for that. Some planners do. Maybe I don't need this one. Hmm. I don't see this symbol either. And somebody messaged me today that they went and bought their happy planner because of me and Craft and Journey. Let me find it. So, who bought the planner? They bought the dog one. Oh, Dazzling Dogs, which is... Who's Dazzling Dogs? She comes in here. I forget. Anyways, she bought the dog lover. She bought the dog lover one. <laughs> she said she went down that rabbit hole because of me and Crafton Journey. I know who that is because she messages me. And she's always in my live streams. She's not in tonight. Who is that? Hi, Crystal. How are you? I know who it is. Hold on. No, I can't find it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So, Crystal, what are you working on? What are you doing tonight? Anything fun? Watching TV? Diamond painting? The planner, it's from, it's from the Happy Planner. And she said that she got it at Joann's, but you can get them from Amazon and thehappyplanner.com. Mine is the Cat Lover. I bought the Cat Lover one. I don't think I need this symbol either. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy Lee. They get done again on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm doing this Wednesday for them, though. She doesn't need to shorten them. These are my real nails. I don't get acrylics. But I do get the um, gel uh, manicure. Yep, my nails are really good nails, so I don't get the acrylics. That was the dog. She just sneezed. She just sneezed. 
Yeah, Lisa, they have really, really pretty planners. And you want to make sure it, what the inside is like. Because, like, I use the vertical ones, but they have horizontal and they have dashboards. So it depends on how much you write in them and how much room you need to write in them. I only like the verticals. And they have different sizes. Like, I have the classic, which is what most people get. But they have a mini and they have a larger one. But I always get the classic. I probably, if I wasn't getting the Coco Daisy subscription box, I probably would get the larger one. Because you can write more stuff down. But I like the classic. And I think, I'm not sure if they ship to the UK though. But I know, and I don't know what craft stores you have. I know... Joanne's sells them. I believe Michael sells them. Michael sells them, but and I think Hobby Lobby sells some. Walmart sells them, not the whole line, but they sell some. And Amazon has them, but I don't know about your Amazon. But there's other planners out there. You can check it out. But I've always liked planners. Even before I found out about the Happy Planner. And so I'm on my... So last year I had a Happy Planner. This year I had three of them. And I'm only going to have one next year. But yeah, I've always used planners. I bought them from Plum, Plum Paper Planner Company for like five years. But I switched to Happy Planner because you can take the pages in and out. And I used to buy just um, the hardcover journals that have lines in them or even without lines. I would just buy hardcover journals and you can use them. Buy stickers that have numbers for the dates. You can buy stickers that have days of the week or buy rubber stamps for the days of the week and the numbers, the dates. Oh, Cindy Lee. <laughs> Well, I have one thumb down because some people, you know, they have issues. <laughs> they have issues. I think it's funny. I get a thumb down on like every video and I just, it's like, you know, that still helps my channel and it shows what kind of person they are. Oh, well. Some people were not brought up to be nice, and if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, you know. They just, they're an unhappy person, and they like to make everybody else around them unhappy, and when it doesn't work, I think it pisses them off. <laughs> yeah, thumbs down equals that you're a sad person, exactly.
Exactly. So I'm still waiting on Amber's last gift is supposed to be here tomorrow. And what I wanted to order Carson and Blake for Christmas, I waited too long and now they aren't going to be available till the middle of January. So I ordered something else for them instead. And that will be here the 21st. Oh, and I do want to tell Robin, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for reminding me about Amazon Japan because I ordered the new Erie book. And what I paid total between the book and the shipping was the same price as just ordering the book off of Etsy without what they would charge me for shipping on Etsy. And it's supposed to be here the 21st or the 23rd, where on Etsy, I would have had to wait for at least a month for it to get here. So, yeah, thank you for telling me that. Because I went and checked that out. So, Jap Amazon Japan will probably get more of my business for coloring books. <laughs> yeah, I did. I went to go order it on Etsy and I'm like, I looked at the price and I looked at the, sh and I knew what the shipping would be. So that's when I'm like, oh yeah, I need to go check Amazon Japan. And I was like, what? You're going to save me money? Okay. Because there's only a few artists that I am still buying their coloring books. I'm not buying a lot of coloring books anymore, but there is a few artists that are must-haves. And Erie's one. I just didn't buy the one where the lines are like really faint. I did not buy that one. And Johanna Bassford, I have them all but the one for how to draw Ivy and Inky. I didn't want that one. And next year, I'm not buying too many diamond paintings because I'm going to work from my stash. Slash the stash. Plus, Nisi, who is, what, coloring Diva 99. I forget her whole channel name. She is doing a work from your stash to use your colored pencils and markers you already have and what other supplies you already have that you have not been using, which is me because I have quite a few supplies that I forget to use. And I know I'm missing one or two of Maria Trolle books, but I'm, I don't think I want any more of hers. I like them, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Crystal, put the dog on and all I hear is Shaleen enabling again. What am I enabling? All I'm saying is if you're going to order stuff, coloring books from Etsy and they're from, they're J Japanese 
go order them from Amazon Japan. It's way cheaper. Shipping's cheaper. And you'll get it quicker. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cindy Lee. Next year, Lisa's going to concentrate on Chuck Pinson, Sheena Pike, and Randall Spangler. Oh, Crystal, yes, planners. I do a planner video every Sunday. And if you watch my morning videos... At the very beginning of my morning videos, I show my planner and I have it set up for the day. And I already enabled to somebody. Just went and bought their first planner because of me and Craft and Journey. And Craft and Journey went and bought her planner from watching me. So, yeah, I got big into planners last year because, um, well, Robin and I both did. I don't think it was the year before, was it, Robin? I think it was the beginning of last year. So, it'll be two years in January, yeah. It'll be two years in January that we got into planners big time. And we were buying all the stuff. Now we've Now, I'm in planner peace. I have found exactly what works for me. I know, Lisa, right? Those are from Coco Daisy. I love them. I used to buy the stickers. So when you have stickers you run out, you have to... <laughs> when you buy stickers, you have to keep reordering them. And I'm like, why don't I just buy the stamps? So I bought the stamps, and they're perfect for what I use them for. Oh, no, Lisa's finger missed, and she pressed the buy button on a planner. Oh, no. So what did your fingers press for a planner? <laughs> Crystal put a manhole cover on that rabbit hole. Yep. But I will tell you, I played around with planners last year because I went to Michael's and I went Memorial Day weekend and all of their planners were on clearance for $3. Bye, Cindy Lee. Thank you for coming in. Yes, Lisa, I bought my stamps on their own. Yep. You probably can get them on Amazon, too. So, I had gone and... <clears throat> I forgot how many planners I bought. All different sizes. I did give a couple to Robin. And her and I played around with our planners for what works best in our lives. So last year, oh my gosh, I went through playing around with the planners for the whole year until the end of the year. And I knew what I wanted for this year. So when January came around, I already knew how I was going to use my planners. Well, now that I get Coco Daisy... My ideas have changed again. Okay, bye, Robin. A French Bulldog one. So what was the brand? Was it a Happy Planner one, Lisa, did you get? I'm only on here for a couple more minutes. I can't tell what one of the symbols are. That's an eight. Yeah, Lisa, it helps even if you don't leave the house. I use mine for all of my hobbies. 
Plus, I keep track of TV shows and movies that are on that are like new episodes of the TV shows. <laughs> Crystal, if you want to know about planners, your best bet is to watch YouTube videos. Put in planners, search planners on YouTube. There are so many out there. And you, you're going to want to know what you want to use your planner for and how you would set it up to what kind you want. Yeah, some people use it as a memory keeper. That's right, Beach Painter. So some of them use it as a memory keeper. So they, they put, um, like say you take pictures a lot on your cell phone or your tablet. You print them up. And you put them in the planners. And you write in the planner, you know, so-and-so's birthday. Or like Lisa could put in it's Gwen's first birthday with a picture of her in her pretty dress. Um, Gwen's first step with a picture of her on that day. Anything like that. You can, there's so much you can do with planners. There's journal there's bullet journaling, which I can't do. That's way too much time. I don't have that kind of time or patience to do bullet journaling. But you might. So, yeah, there's memory keeping planners. There's bullet journaling. And, you know, some people, just, some people have a lot of doctor's appointments. That's all they use it for. And they buy the mini planner and keep it in their purse because they have so many doctor's appointments. There's just so many uses for it. Oh, okay, Lisa. I'm sure you'll like whatever you got. But I get the Coco Daisy. Um, it's not a planner. They're planner inserts. You put them inside, and I get the Happy Planner. But I used to get plum paper. And I like that company. I'm just used to being able to take pages in and out. See, me too, Beach Painter. I've always loved calendars and lists. <laughs> okay, I won't tell him, Crystal. Mom's a word. Zipper. I won't tell. <laughs> but yeah you can set goals in it like I keep track of I'll show you this is a classic happy planner I don't want to spill my drills so I can decorate up this page a little bit but not too much because this part of the calendar this is what I use for TV shows and movies. So like tonight is a new episode of Station 19 and a new episode of Grey's, but it's the winter finale and it's a crossover, so I write that down. And then tomorrow night is two movies, Christmas movies I want to watch, and Saturdays and Sundays has the Christmas movies on Hallmark. And so I only put down when they're the new ones. Whenever there's a new one on. So that's what I use this spread for. And then you have, this is, I'll show you this week's spread. And you use stickers, washi tape, whatever you want to use to decorate. You can use rubber stamps. I write down what the high temperature is for the day. I have, a, I have rubber stamps for the weather. And then if I finish a coloring page, I write that down. If I finish reading a book, I write that down. If I watched movies, I write that down. And I, each thing has a different color gel ink because that's how I am. And um, like diamond painting gets an orange gel pen. Coloring gets blue. Reading gets green. Cross stitching gets red. I think that's it. 
But yeah, I keep track. And then I write down if I what I watched for the day on TV. And on the side over here, I write my chores that I want to do for the whole week. And then I just mark them off as I do them. And then over here, sometimes I will write what, what the thing is I want to focus on for the week. But I changed my mind on this and it got changed to diamond painting. But there's so much you can do with these. There, the, it's unlimited use. <laughs> Hallmark has an app for that, really? Yes, Crystal, exactly. That would work for the temperature blanket. Yep. That would work perfect. So if you didn't get to crochet or knit or whatever for that day, you can look back and say, what was the temperature for the yesterday and I didn't get to work on it. And so you could do it that way. Yeah, definitely. would. That would be perfect for the temperature blanket. So, yeah, there's so many uses for a planner. That is why my husband threatened me I cannot pick up any new hobbies. No new hobbies. Which I said I, I agree because I can't afford new hobbies. And not only that, I don't have time because I have all these other hobbies. Oh, you got an alert. I just like seeing it in writing. I I don't like to rely on technology. I like things written down. That's just how I am. I have a I have a regular alarm clock because I don't take my phone in my bedroom at night it stays in here and I charge it overnight I never take my phone in my bedroom the only time it goes in my bedroom are the days that I need a nap and I put it on YouTube and I find the um, ASMRs with ocean sound because I love listening to that when I take a nap But yeah, there's different kinds of planners. And it works with whatever works for your life and your situation. Yeah, I don't really cross things off. I highlight. And each hobby has... A highlighter so like reading is green gel pen I also use a green highlighter that's just how I am but yeah I set up my week my weekly spread every Sunday on my channel for my planner and I know I have other planner videos showing what I use them for. But I am going to say goodbye. It is going, it's 7 o'clock. I need to fix dinner. <coughs> and, <coughs> sorry, got a cough. I got to go fix dinner. My husband will be calling me on his dinner break in about 10 minutes. And then I got TV to watch. And I got to feed the animals before I sit down to watch TV or they'll yell at me. <laughs> so, Midgeloxy, I buy diamond paintings all over. Um, diamond Art Club and Treasure Studios Art and Dreamer Designs are my favorites. But I will talk to you all later. I'm hoping Sunday night to do my live stream Mad Libs. 
I did not make it last Sunday night because I was so tired. I took a nap and I fell asleep. So I wasn't able to make my live stream. I was sleeping. <laughs> <coughs> that's okay, Lisa. You don't know when I'm reading. If I don't answer you, that's why. <laughs> but thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. You all have a great week. And I will probably 